I wanted to talk tonight about something that's been kind of on my mind all day as we get as we get closer to the 2015 NFL draft which starts tomorrow and that is playing sports it doesn't doesn't matter what kind of sports doesn't matter if it's collegiate professional amateur whatever Playing sports is not a right, it's a privilege. And I wish there was these these athletes, these so-called student athletes would realize that. It seems like ever since Jameis Winston got cleared of the alleged sexual assault down there at Florida State and stealing crab legs from a, pu- from a Publix, that these punk kids feel like they can get away with just about anything. For for example, not only is James not only was Jameis Winston cleared of all charges, but he is more than likely gonna be the number one draft pick. <laughs> and that just saddens me. Um and then you got this guy Shane Ray from Missouri who is projected to be a pretty high draft pick himself. He got caught driving around with marijuana in his car. I mean, this guy shouldn't even be allowed to be in the draft. <laughs> then you got this 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 kid at Tennessee who has not been officially charged, but has been named a suspect <laughs> in an off-campus sexual assault case. Which, that doesn't surprise me. I mean, talk about the University of Tennessee in Knoxville, you know, vile country. And then something that makes me real sad, Cyrus Jones at the University of Alabama decides to be an idiot and get himself charged with third degree, third degree domestic violence. I mean, I thought we had, I thought, I mean, I don't know why we are all of a sudden getting so many thugs at the University of Alabama. And there's this guy, the Collins guy from LSU, who, well, he's no longer in Chicago. He voluntarily voluntarily left. But he's talking with police in Baton Rouge involved to, about his possible involvement. Well, actually, they're trying to... uh, determine whether or not they could eliminate him as a suspect, but possibly involved in the murder of his ex-girlfriend who was pregnant with a baby that may or may not have been his, but they're trying to establish an alibi. <laughs> but yeah, It just kind of makes me sad that so many of these athletes think they can get away with just about anything. It, they need to learn that they can't. There are rules that they have that even they have to follow. Anyway, that's pretty much all I got. Take care. God bless. Roll Tide.